Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. We're here in Chiang Mai for today's daily challenge. Leah Fireheart is here. Sam the Samurai is here. Sam was here first. We start with three motorways and then we get double motorways. So that's wonderful. Chiang Mai is usually a pain in the ass, so having some nice challenges would be nice. This is indeed the final gimimimim of 2022, a bad year. Hot take, things are bad. There you go. But hey, gimimimim is fun. I have had a good time doing the show, making the show. Creating the, I don't know. I, I enjoy playing good. I enjoy playing mini motorways. I enjoy ranting my rambly bullshit. Leah was watching Placid Plastic Duck Simulator, which sounds like a cool and chill time. I did get a cool, I did get a new job. I did get a bunch of magic cards. I do have friends. Things could be worse. Sam is correct. All of these things are true. Broadly speaking, this year was kind of a dumpster fire, but hey. All right, here's what we're going to do. We are going to redraw some of this stuff. We're going to move this yellow dude right here so that it goes like so, rather than cutting here. And by doing that, it allows us to take this pink and I suppose also this pink and just kind of make them work. There we go. This was the year that Sam destroyed my mini motorways scores, went from being a person who has not played mini motorways to a person who is significantly better than me at mini motorways. Leah Fireheart can, hold on, Leah. Leah, is that really a thing that you wanna maybe? Anyway, uh, the fuck is this? Hold on now, the fuck is this? All right, let's let's uh, let's do a different thing then. We're gonna take these two greens, we're gonna move them out like so. This yellow is gonna go on a different bridge, I bet. That different bridge is gonna come up this way, over here, down there, like so. Meanwhile, uh, this green, well, I think I'm also gonna have to restructure my pink, which is lovely, you love to restructure your pinks. Everyone should restructure their pinks at least once. It sort of sounds like a terrible sex position, but maybe it's a very enjoyable sex position. Listen, if you like having your pinks restructured, you do you. I'm not here to yuck anybody's yums. I'm not here to step on anyone's toes, unless that's actually what having your pinks restructured means, in which case I'm still not here to step on anyone's toes because I don't do that with strangers in public. Moving on. So as usual for Chiang Mai, we've created the most ridiculous random bullshit, but hey, it's sort of working. We've got yellows going up here. We've got these two greens supporting this guy. I'm gonna make that more aesthetically pleasing. I know it's gonna make it ever so slightly less efficient, but I don't care that much. <clears throat> we don't kink shame here, but that does sound pretty ouchy. It does sound like it would hurt. You come here. These pinks are gonna, you know what? I have three motorways and I'm gonna get two motorways whenever I get one motorways. So we're gonna use a motorway. There you go, motorway number one. Get these two pinks over here, over to this pink business. That's gonna be just fine. Now I could in theory like run this pink over here, but effort, honestly. It sounds like a lot of work. It just sounds very difficult. Here, you go that way. You go this way. You come here. You know what? Actually, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this much less sensible thing. And this much less sensible thing is that we're gonna run motorway number two straight over here, like so. Motorway number three, meanwhile, exists to get pinks over to this business. There we go. We have gone from not having used any motorways to having used all the motorways in about nine seconds, but hey, 
let's get two more motorways. Why not? You go up that away. That's fine. You and you can be right here. You go here. That is Chiang Mai. You, you can't stick with one plan for very long because the business hates you. The business absolutely hates you. It always hates you. The town hates you. The people hate you. Nobody cares for the city planner. Nobody has the, the civic engineers on their Christmas card list. Metaphorically speaking, I don't know. Where do, I don't think you should play Mini Motorways with a martyr complex. It's not Good Morning Mini Martyrways, which is actually a pretty good title for an episode, so I'm going to write that down. But anyway... Uh, we've got purples over here. They need to get pretty much diagonally across the map. This is why God invented motorways. I do have enough road tiles to get these purples over here without a motorway. But why would I do that? Honestly, why would I do that when I can just have one big straight diagonal line that goes over the clusterfuck of downtown? Good morning, mini motorways. That is sounds it sounds like we're either trying to build very stable roads uh, we're going to take a roundabout that's going to inevitably kill everything by the way you're either trying to build very stable roads or you're just lobbing cars at people right oh we have good morning mini meowder ways every single day but good morning mini motor mortar ways where you're just lobbing cars at people i think that would be fun that would be fun. Leah has a very important question. For those of you who watched Mass Effect Andromeda last night, uh, how was my chicken parmesan sandwich? It was excellent. I got it from a pizza place I like. It was very good. Thank you again to Bell Row Brew for that. Uh, a spinoff that involves parking could be Good Morning Mini Meter Ways. Absolutely. We will probably, like, I'm sure that might be the next game from Dinosaur Polo Club. That's the kind of game these people would make. I don't think it would be called Mini Meter Ways, but it could have something to do with parking. Hi, Nora. Good Morning Mini Meter Ways could also just be a show about maintaining the perfect cadence for your musical performance. It's a very tiny show. There's only like, you know, three mice in an alleyway. But still, you need to maintain perfect precision with your timing. Good morning, Mini Meterways. Uh, Leah asked, uh, I think we've mentioned you suck at parking before. I've played the demo for that. I believe it was on your recommendation, Leah. It was fine. I saw how it was a quality game. It, it doesn't seem like the kind of thing that super jumps out at me, but you know, I'll play it again probably eventually, maybe. It's the kind of thing that you could make me play in the subathon. Subathon five colon made a huge mistake. Parenthetically, it is an arrested development joke. Starts uh, Sunday, 10 o'clock Eastern. Here on twitch.tv slash the underscore goog. Some of that will eventually make it to YouTube. Probably. I say eventually and probably because I still have subathons three and four just kind of sitting on a hard drive somewhere. So. Hi, Nora. Hi. Yes, you're a very cute cat. You're an adorable little kitty cat. Now shut up. Sam has a good point that when the Goog is in a depressive mood, it could either be Good Morning Mini Moperways or Good Morning Mini Monerways. Um, one of those is much more law and order than the other. Let's take a couple of motorways. I think we're going to reposition motorway number five so as to maximize the purple influence. There you go. Now, uh, over here, we have... A uh, situation, and by situation, I mean yellow guys sharing a road when there need not be road sharing among the yellow guys. Observe. We're going to take motorway number six. We're going to do that. Everything's going to be fine. I could draw a road for this. I could save my motorway. Actually, I think I'm going to. I don't think this needs to be a motorway. I think that's, you know, it's fine that that's a motorway, but I have bridges. I have bridges, and you're right here. Yeah, you could just have a bridge that does this. It'll be okay. The world will keep on spinning if this turns into a bridge. You, on the other hand, a uh, better candidate for motorway, honestly. 
Are we going to get more blue guy? Yes, we are going to get more blue guy. The presence of more blue guy necessitates the slight redraw of motorway number five, but that's going to be fine. You are going to go here and then motorway number six, like so. There. We're going to still have one spare motorway, which is probably going to serve as purples going north. Holy crap. Holy crap. Yep, yep. That's exactly what we're going to do here. We're just drawing motorways everywhere. To hell with efficient road design. To hell with good planning. We're just slapping a motorway on it. All right. Uh, these blues can be better allocated. What we're going to do is we're going to move you over here. Motorway number six is going to do that. And then we're going to move you three over here. Motorway number five is going to do that. Okay? Okay. Now, uh, this pink business here is weird, but uh, actually, yeah, I do think I'm going to completely redraw that because that is not presently being used. So it's not a big deal. Here, you come down here, do that. And now you three pinks go over there and serve as supplemental support for this guy. Super duper. Everybody's happy except the people who aren't happy, but fuck the people who aren't happy, honestly. Uh, fuck the people who aren't happy is the incel credo accident, actually. So probably shouldn't do that. Uh, remember the time we had a magic draft at your apartment on New Year's Day? Sam? No. I absolutely do not remember that. That sounds like a fun thing. That sounds like a good time was had by all. I have no memory of this. Absolutely none. I'm sure it was a good time. Oh, uh, let's see here. Um, listen, th this all sounds like it would have been a good time. You're not refreshing my... I have a bad memory for things. Now I feel bad. Now I feel very bad. But, um... Anyway... We've got yellow guys who need to get over to here. So, what are we gonna do about that, I wonder? Uh, the best way to get yellow guys over here is, eesh, I don't know. Sam, I have a terrible memory. That's just like a blanket statement. I still feel bad. I've, I'm trying to forgive myself for having a terrible memory. I have a terrible memory. We're going to slap a roundabout over here and further complicate this yellow bullshit. So that's going to work out great. Uh, if and when we get another roundabout, another motorway rather, that's going to be much better for us. In the meantime, uh, you come over to here and... Oh, nope. These two greens are going to supplement these two gray, greens to keep this uh, newly formed circle here. You go there, you go that away. You cannot fix your brain to retain stuff. That's true. Let's blame childhood trauma or something. I don't know, maybe it's just caffeine intake. I have eight purples here who are just not doing anything. Eventually we're gonna need them to do something. Good morning, Trombone Dalek. Always happy to have Trombone Dalek here. Hope you're doing well. Uh, you know what? This isn't gonna fix anything, but it's gonna make this circle's life a little bit happier. We're gonna reposition motorway number four so that it's in the middle of these six purples rather than off to the side with those four. So you do that. Uh, you're a circle now, that's fine. We don't care about that. This is gonna work out just, just okay. I uh, really, 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 really need to get two motorways this week. And I didn't. Fuck. Uh-oh. Oh, let's see here. Oh, uh, Trombone Dalek asks how Nora is. She is her usual adorable kitty cat self. She's doing very well. Uh, how is the Goog? Yeah, the Goog is fine. Goog woke up at like, well, Goog rolled out of bed at 6.52 this morning, which is difficult when you do a Twitch stream that starts at seven. So that was fun. 
we're going to reposition motorway number seven in a desperate attempt to save this square guy. That is going to open up this guy right here, uh, which means we're going to have you six go on a grand adventure. Your grand adventure is going to come up here and over here, and it's also going to involve this road coming this way there. This is a very long and stupid road, but on the other hand, there's like 18 of you, so you can figure it out, right? Right? Please come out. Please, please. Oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. This is the end. This is the end of the... Oh, that's a shame. I fucked up. I fucked up bad. I fucked up so bad, you guys. 772 is a very bad score. Feels like a bad score. That might not even be top 50. Yeah, bottom 25%. I deserve that. I fucked up bad. I fucked up bad, you guys. Oh, sadness and pain. Sadness, horror, misery, and pain. All in equal measure. Let us try to soothe our wounds with Wordle or something. I don't know. Here, where is the, where is the eyeball that means Wordle? That's an OBS thing. I swear I didn't just make that up. We're not, you know, visionaries. We're not we're not using someone's sight to create Wordle or anything. There are none of those letters in... Well, that's just super. It, it can't be super. There's an S in super. That's just great. It can't be great. There's a G and a T in great. It, it, we're... Darn it. Lee has got a cold. That stinks. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the world as we know it is the song of Gimimimim this morning. That is fair, actually. That's, listen, you're, you're not wrong, okay? Here, this has two vowels in it. That makes it a good word. Oh, we've learned some things. Okay. Okay. Uh, it could be loner. Samurai Sam has redeemed a Sporkle quiz. We shall play Sporkle after Wordle. Uh, we've put the O in the right place. That's good. Uh, it doesn't start with L, though. So uh, it could be polar, as in bears or vortices. Uh, it's not, but, you know, it could have been. Uh, okay, well, it could be molar, like your tooth. Hey, it is! Hooray! I solved the wordle. I'm the greatest wordler in the history of wordle. Good morning, mini molar ways! <laughs> Yes, exactly that. Good morning, mini molar ways, I suppose. All right. Samurai Sam has redeemed that Sporkle quiz. Let's do that Sporkle quiz. We've got a browser window right on screen. Let's pop that. Let's get rid of the text that says, don't tell me the wordle is there. Okay, can anyone see these? Is this big enough? We have 10 AI-generated board games here. So... Again, as a general rule, like it here's here's my rule on AI generated stuff. And I may have I may have stated this once before. I'm going to try to uh, speak it more clearly now. If you have <laughs> if you have a piece of AI generated artwork that you think is really cool, miss me with that shit. I am not here for people training computers to steal artists' work and pass it off as art. I'm not here for it. Sometimes it looks cool. A lot of times it looks cool. I'm not here for it. I think it's bad. However, if you have a goofy little AI-generated board game quiz, which I know is fundamentally the same thing in a different wrapper, but it's a shiny wrapper. I like the wrapper. So... If you have a silly little AI-generated Pokemon or AI-generated celebrities or, in this case, AI-generated board game quiz, that's fine. Let's, let's play that. All right, so this is Scrabble. That, I feel pretty confident about that. This is... Oof. Uh, is this Catan? Might be... No. Um... It's not Candyland, is it? Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this one. This is this is just chess. This is just stock photos of chess boards. 
Uh, this is Monopoly. This is pretty. This is pretty bad Monopoly, but it looks like Monopoly. Only three minutes on this quiz. This is Catan. This is Catan. I've played Catan like twice, and I like it. It's a it's a good and fun game. Uh, I think this is Clue. It's AI generated Clue. This is Backgammon. I've never played Backgammon. I'm sure it's fun. This is AI generated Uno. Uh, this is Battleship, maybe? Uh, it could be, yeah, it could be Battleship. It could be, I was thinking it might be Perfection. This is, uh, we're gonna go for it. This is Connect 4. Uh, and that was the 10th one. Okay, so we have to figure out what this is. The fuck is this? I think this is one of those super complicated modern games. And when I say that, people who actually like super complicated modern games are probably pounding their heads in frustration because this is what board game novices think is a super complicated modern game, but is actually like a 3 out of 10 on the scale of super complicated modern games. Like Catan. Catan falls exactly into that boat. Um, the fuck game is this? This is... I have no idea. It's not risk. No. There's like a big... It's not hungry, hungry hippos, is it? No way. No, it is not. Okay. Well, let's roll through all of the things we know it's not. It's not don't wake daddy. It's not uh, mouse trap. Probably. I guess it could be Mousetrap. It's not Mousetrap. It's not Don't Break the Ice. Uh, don't Wake Daddy is just Don't Break the Ice with parental abuse. Um, it's not Gloomhaven. It's not Betrayal. Hold on, let me look at my bookcase full of board games. Uh, it's not Mind Trap. Mind Trap is a lovely little game. It's not Tribond. Tribond is a fun game that I'm very good at and people hate me for. Uh, it's, I don't know. We're gonna give up now. What is this game? This is the game of life. I see. Okay, I'll take your word for it. I think I might have played the game of life once and well, I, I don't remember. <laughs> We've discussed how I have a bad memory. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know what? It is 723. L Mini Motorways was very bad to us today, and it was specifically requested yesterday, and I didn't do it. So we're going to do a Quirtle. We're going to play Quirtle today. If you have done today's Quirtle, I suppose I should bring back the Don't Tell Me the Wordle spoiler text. So here, here's the Don't Tell Me the Wordle spoiler text. Let me try that in English. Here's the don't tell me the wordle spoiler text. Uh, apparently that kind of looked like the game of life. I'll take people's word for that. Uh, here, it was kind of risky to go for that. There's an R in risky gook. It's a terrible first guess, but hey, we've learned information about every single one of these words, actually. So that's nice. It's, it's kind of funny how we did that. Didn't learn much more, actually. We don't, we basically learned nothing. Holy crap. Okay. So, uh, this over here is the one where I think, I feel like the good quartal strategy is to focus on the word about which you know the least, and that will give you like ancillary information about other words. I don't know if that's actually true. That could be bullshit, but I'm going to run with it. So let's focus on this top right word over here. We know that it. It, it, it ends with Y, and it doesn't have any of those weird vowels in it. So, good job, Gook. Uh, it could be pithy, except it can't because there's an I in pithy. So, it's a bad guess. Makes me happy to realize that I knew that was a bad guess. Okay, uh, we're not learning anything here. We've, we've done two double letter guesses in a row and we've gotten very, very little accomplished. Maybe we can knock this one out. Maybe I'm just gonna totally reverse my position immediately and realize that you can just kind of make this happen. So this is Basin. 
This top left word, it's basin. There. We've knocked that one out. That's good. Anytime you know you can knock out a word, you should do it. So over here, B A something something Y. Over here, uh, R three somethings Y. Over here is something I something I something. Well, that's just lovely, isn't it? Hmm. What about? No, it can't be minute. Like M I N I T. I don't think that's even a word. This one, maybe we focus on this one. This this one is scary. This one we're going to need to stumble into some consonants. So R something 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 Y. Uh, it can't be Romy. No, because there's an A in Romy. Also, Romy is probably not a word. Yeah, there's a video game called Minute. That kind of sounds familiar. I've heard of that. All right. Let's see here. What about Rumi? It could be Rumi. It could absolutely be Rumi. It's not, but it could have been. Uh, hmm. Digit? Over here? This one could be digit. I can dig it. Okay. So we've got a D here and here. We've got the G in the right place over here. Uh, my first guess is sigil, but that's wrong. This one could be vigil. Oh, we've got to nail these. We've only got three guesses left. God damn it. Um, this one, I'm going to go vigil. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Okay, we are in with a chance. We've got to figure out this one. This is B A something something Y, and one of the somethings is a D. Okay, it's not baldy. It could just be batty. It could absolutely be. That would be annoying. It wouldn't get us much information, but... Oh, it's body. That's what it is. It's body. Okay. Okay. This is going to be a hell of a pull it out if we do this. So this is R two somethings DY. And as we look down here... who oh boy. Uh, it's, it's a New Year's miracle, sort of. This is a word. It could be ready. It could be like, you know, sort of pinkish in hue. You know, ready. Uh, what else could it be? There are very few other words that I can, that I can, re that I can readily see, you know. Uh, it could be Scooby-Doo covering a Weird Al song. Look at me, I'm right and wordy. That, um, it's not a word, actually. It could be reedy. Uh, it could be reedy. Reedy's a word. Yeah, like super rail thin and tall. Or uh, very similar to Matthew Gray Goobler's character from Criminal Minds. Just look at me, I'm right and wordy again. <sighs> Anyway, you know, I thought I had a title of the episode and then I came up with another one. One that is much less whatever. Uh, okay, do we think Reedy or Ready? Because it, it could be either of them. I think... Boy. They're both kind of weird pulls, but... Is there anything we're missing? No, I don't think you can get another consonant in there. It's not like Rexty, you know? And you can't really get a consonant after the R. It's not, you know, Rigetti. Uh, Rigetti sounds like the fourth way a toddler would pronounce an Italian pasta dish. All right, consensus is Reedy. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, 
boy, that was a tough quirtle. But hey, we did it. And that was we. That was a community effort. Thank you all very much. That, oh boy, that's bad practice on Quirtle, but you know, the 789, it feels good. It feels good. We take those. All right. So I'm going to get one final plug in here because this is literally the final time y'all are going to hear my fucking voice before the subathon. So this Sunday morning, 10 o'clock Eastern, New Year's Day, start 2023 off right or at least in a silly fun way with the underscore gook we will begin probably with just a free episode of good morning mini motorways that seems to be tradition and then we will play who the hell knows the change game reward will be active uh, i'm probably not gonna super discount it but because it's never active and y'all have a bunch of channel points at this point but hey, the change game reward is going to be active. We're going to switch around. We're going to play a lot of different games. I have no idea. As always, by the way, if there's one thing you know you're going to make me play and you suspect I don't have it installed, do everyone a favor and just tell me so I can install it. So that would be nice. But anyway, again, Sunday, 10 o'clock Eastern, New Year's Day, Subathon 5, colon, made a huge mistake parenthetically it is an arrested development joke the longest and weirdest title of anything i've ever done and consider the ground that covers it's gonna be fun we're gonna have a good time i hope to see you there until then thank you as always for watching have a good day and goodbye